So guys, we've just put it on. We've just done the final little five millimeter pour. And uh, now I'm just going to use the gas. Gas torch to uh, put the bubbles here. And as you can see, as soon as the torch goes over it, heat the rest of the water. All these bubbles just disappear. This resin has been poured to about five miles a bit. This is the final cave. just made a first piece box to cover my tables from now on. Uh, this way to eliminate all types of dust uh, or foreign objects coming onto my tabletops. And um, it'll also allow me to uh, see through and make sure everything's all kosher. Okay guys, so I'm just about to uh, start sanding and polishing this. Um, so um, we're going to start off here with uh, in uh, 400 grit which is um, these bad boys and then we're going to move up to uh, 800 grit and then to a thousand and then to this little pad here turns 800 into 1600 grit then to 2000 and then the light blue one 5000 and then we're going to buff it with 10,000 so um, I'll take a photograph and a little bit of video of each, uh, each pass. Okay, so I've just done the tabletop here with um, 400 grit. And uh, we'll give the dust off. And then we'll have a crack with eight. Uh, this is the tabletop after I've given it a good quarter of an hour with um, 800 grit. And now I'm going to a thousand. I've just smashed it with a thousand grit, so I'm just giving it a quick going over. It's actually starting to get um, more reflection on it. I'm just going to do 800 grit with the soft pad, which will give me uh, 1600 grit, and then we'll get into our um, our, uh, our our wet 2000. Starting to come up now, 1,600 grit. So um, now it's just been done with 4,000 grit. Over, uh, uh, four and 5,000. And now we're going to um, start the buffing process and um, buff this bad boy out. Okay, guys, so we finished doing the 4 and 5,000 grit. Here's a set of photographs showing you how good and how reflective the epoxy resin has come up after I've given it the final buff using a 10 to 15,000 grit equivalent uh, polish. It's a very high grade polish and I've used a very soft um, uh, sponge. You want to use a nice sponge buffing pad and um, and uh, just keep going over it, keep moving it. You don't want your, uh, your, your buffer to be on a high speed, you want it on a fairly low speed, and you don't ever, ever, ever want to leave your buffer in one place or else you're gonna burn your resin. The most um, harmful thing for epoxy resin is heat. So you want to make sure you keep moving your buffer around or else you're gonna burn your top layer. I reckon that looks really sharp. It's come up very, very well, and it's another stunning tabletop that we're all very proud of.